and look at the beard and make assumptions, okay? <laughs> this is not a statement. It was a COVID kit and I haven't corrected it yet. I'm not gonna lie to you though, like the first time I was in like a major city in India, right? 30, 40 million people deep major city. I'm looking at 30, 40 million people deep major city traffic. And I watched a cow merge into traffic. <laughs> That broke my brain a little bit. <laughs> Mostly because it signaled first. <laughs> but like most things you've never seen, right? You see it a few times, you ask what happens here, and you move on. Right? The thing I couldn't get out of my head, though, even after I left India, is the cows and other parts of the world know what's happening in India. <laughs> Like, you see a cow on a farm here running towards the fence, and its mind is that where it's going. To India. To freedom. Or a cow's more like people, generally oblivious and just excited to be from wherever we're from, right? Like, if you see a cow in France, it's just pumped to be a French cow. Just, mm hmm. I put a mile at the loose. Like a cow in the U.S., huh? One of the square states in the middle, walking around cocky. Just hell yeah. I'm an American cow. I'm the USDA. I'm free range. Other the cows hate us because we're so free range. Meanwhile, a cow in Mumbai just walked into an electronic store and put minutes on its cell phone. Free range now. In Arabic, like one of my favorite phrases is the is the greeting in Arabic, right? Assalamu alaikum. I think it's amazing. It's like the nicest thing you can say to someone, right? You translate it, peace be upon you. That's amazing. And it makes me think of like the other salutations you get in other places. Like there's one in China, right, that translates as uh, have you eaten? <laughs> Which is nice, I guess, but you're not expecting someone to go, no, I haven't. Break out sandwiches. <laughs> It's just more of a, have you eaten? Please don't bring it up if you haven't. <laughs> but that's like a lot of Western countries, right? Where they're like, how are you doing, right? Is your day going well? No one wants you to bring or your sadness bull there. <laughs> you don't walk into a store and they're like, hi, how are you? Oh, well, you know, my mom passed away and I've been depressed for a few days. Nobody wants that. <laughs> that's why I like, I like peace be upon you. There's no question. It's just, boom, have some. <laughs> Take some peace. But then I don't know, is that, is, that, is that because you want to give people peace or is that because you're preempting that bull before it starts, <laughs> right? They come in and you're like, ah, so like a bam. Blocked it, blocked your bull. Move over there. Nah, already gave you some peace, take the peace, walk over there, please. And now I'm meeting other people with beards. I didn't know that was gonna happen. It was like a whole underground network of bearded people. <laughs> and they're comfortable just talking to each other. And I don't get it. I don't understand the attitude that's the opposite of that, right? That's taken all, it's all over the world that's been ramping up over the last few years, right? People want to fight this idea of keeping things the same, and I don't get it. I don't get it like as a city, I don't get it in personal relationships, right? I don't understand like why, if you're one thing, however you see yourself and describe yourself, if you're that thing, why you would go and try to find the same thing? <laughs> get married and then make more of that thing. That's just taking bland, mixing it with bland, making more bland. Get weird with it, right? Like if you're a Dutch Protestant, don't go and marry and have kids and make another Dutch Protestant. Marry like a Zulu witchcraft doctor. Right? So cool. The human eye can see 10 million colors. Did you know that? I looked it up. 10 million colors. Look around the room. We're not even getting close. I'm not, I'm not saying that we could have green people. <laughs> but I feel like if we applied ourselves, we could have green people. You can't tell me you don't want to see a green dude. You can't tell me that, I'm sorry. You can't tell me your average Wednesday at work would not be greatly improved by a green guy walking in the door. <laughs> Just humdrum Wednesday, typey type Wednesday, boring old Wednesday, in walks green guy. Wednesday's looking up. <laughs> Lobster, make a mermaid, do you understand me? <laughs> it's 
asked him about mermaids, I'm sorry. I'll give you the opposite. I know it's a silly way to make a point, but I'll give you the opposite. I'll give you the opposite stance of this, right? I'll give you the opposite. There's a group of people on this planet that embody the opposite of this attitude. And we can all agree that they're fucking weirdos. When I say their name, don't agree. Right? They're called the Amish. <laughs> you don't know who the Amish are? Don't worry, I'll fast track you, okay? The Amish are a Christian sect, right? They got to the year, collectively, they got to the year 1692. They looked around, and they were like, this is it. We got everything we're ever gonna need. We got butter churns, right? We got barns. We got bonnets. We got the Bible. We got all the bees. We have all the bees. We want no new influence. Don't change this. We're gonna fence it in and we're gonna cousin f this to the future. <laughs> and they did. You can go see them right now. Pennsylvania, Delaware region of the U.S. You can go. You take your car. You can drive up to the little horse and buggy. You can look right in the eyes. All three of their creepy, creepy eyes. The Amish have three eyes, Chris. Like, okay. That's why their furniture's so good. They can see all parts of the at the same time. All I'm saying is don't be Amish. Don't be Amish. Pick a lobster, make a mermaid. I'm, I'm required by law to say don't actually f a lobster. That's, it. That's my hyperbolic. I don't. I don't need that phone call. I'll just be walking through an airport, right? Just going to the terminal, minding my own business. And out the corner of my eye, just some other creepy bearded dies, just eye f***ing me as I go by. <laughs> and I look at him and they're like, hey. <laughs> if you're homophobic and you're here, I can't help you out. <laughs> Understand this. These are people, right? They find out you hate them. The only course of action they will ever have against you is to maybe show up at your work, right, or somewhere public, and throw glitter at you. <laughs> Not get ten friends together and whip your ass, right? Not shove you in a locker. No, glitter. They might turn on dance music. <laughs> if they find out that you hate them, their course of action is to throw you a surprise party. <laughs> That's a genius way to combat hatred. I wish we fought wars that way. I do. I wish my country would stop dropping bombs in Afghanistan, pack those drones full of glitter, help the f***ing mountains. <laughs> you would change the Taliban's tune in 30 seconds. <laughs> just a glitter drone drive-by. Just a... <laughs> what the f***? <laughs> the f It's even worse where I'm from, right? Because I'm in Alabama and I make eye contact with some dude that looks like this. I get the head nod first. And then I get the, what's up, brother? We are not brothers. In fact, I'm a little afraid of what you do with family. When you go to like a monastery, right? If you're ever on the grounds of one, like you instantly, it's like you're back in school, right? Like you have to be quiet. You start tip talk, you can't let you talk like this to people, right? Because there's the monks in here. <laughs> Why do we treat them like they're bears? I don't understand that. Is it the brown robe? Is that what it is? We act like this, we're like in their habitat. Like, be quiet, be quiet. I'll tell you, don't wake them, we need to sleep. <laughs> I find, I'm not a religious person, but I find like religious things fascinating. I do, like everywhere I go. Like one of the, the, of course, the things people tell you when you're not from here and you come here and you ask about the cities, they go, well, we have 365 churches, right? <laughs> one for every day of the year. And I'm like, yeah, well, let's leap here, mother <laughs> It's 
So what happens on that last day of February, huh? <laughs> Does the monster come out of the lake? Why do you have so many churches? <laughs> the f bathroom debate? Like, how did that not, how did COVID not kill that? So the pandas are not in the hotel. I can them live, man. This is a nice ass hotel. I saw five very excited Japanese businessmen in the lobby. I know you have pandas in this hotel. <laughs> you just wanted to hold a panda, bro, right? I hold it, some little baby, black and white, little cute. Maybe put like a finger in it. You know what I'm saying? Like not all the way. I just want to put a finger in a panda. Is that too much to ask? These are my dreams, not your dreams, all right? These are my dreams. Not like a whole finger. I'm not a oh, I just a little, like just the tip. You know what I'm saying? Like just enough. Well, the panda would know, like I, you put it and the panda's like, what the f And you're like, yeah. This is happening. I am inside you now. You magical, magical creature. Nobody would know it's got fur. You wouldn't see it. <laughs> I could take a photo, right? Have it put on Facebook. My mom will put like on it. She'd have no idea what's going on. <laughs> and that panda would go back, right? Into the panda cage with the other pandas. Like that weird bald one just put a finger in there. <laughs> I'd be like, shut up, Lang Lang. That didn't happen. <laughs> That's a great panda name. I don't give a Later tonight, was like naming the panda Ling Ling is racist. We get we want to call panda Trevor. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> and that panda would grow up to hate bald white dudes. <laughs> How great is that? We had people aren't writing op eds in newspapers, right? Boiled the arguments down. They're all like, Look, if you look away to me, but I say you're that, but you say you're not, and then where are you gonna pee? Like, that's what we were arguing about. It's that cold, you boil the huge pot of water, right? You walk outside into that minus 41 degree wind, right? You throw the boiling water up into the air and it's so cold, the water's like, no, and just disappears. <laughs> it forms a mist and it Voldemort's down the block. <laughs> you can hear it screaming back, like, I'll get you in the spring, Potter. <laughs> out of there. That's Celsius and Fahrenheit. And that's the point where both scales agree, right? Like this. <laughs> Just call it the same thing. I thought it was a typo, right? It came on the newscast, the lady just reads it off. Like, today's low is gonna be minus 41. I started laughing. <laughs> Like somebody got fired, you know what I mean? You can't be making up numbers. And then I walked outside, and that's when I learned, I don't know if you know this, but your skeleton can cry. Were you aware of that? Yeah. Meanwhile, I spent a month in Thailand using the women's restroom because I couldn't read the sign. No one said a word to me. And it's just the weird bald lady who keeps peeing in the sink. You know what, buddy? Let me tell you something. You don't lock it here in America. You can get the f out. Well, get out of what? Like, the, the geographic range? That's America? Is that what you mean? Like, what's on the map? Like, there's 50 states right now with Puerto Rico hanging out here, but nobody talks about it, but it's kind of involved. Like, what do you mean, like, the people of a shared common background that is the nation that is America, right? That they exist on top of the geographic region that is also called America. Or do you mean like the governmental structure? Like I couldn't, I shouldn't participate in that if I don't like it, right? The governmental structure that oversees the geographical boundary where the people of a shared common background maintain. Or do you mean like the quasi abstract concept of a state that in international law is recognized as an individual international law and only even gets its credence because other places also acknowledge it, but then it maintains a government that oversees the geographical boundary where the people of a shared common background are. And he shot me. Yeah. <laughs>